it's time to make our quick and dirty version of Dangerous Dave look a lot more like the original. In fact, let's take another look at the original. We have a bar at the top that includes the score, current level, and number of lives. So far, our game world starts at the top of the screen, so we'll need to move it down about one tile. The original game has pop-ups and other status indicators at the bottom. We'll bring those in too. Now, if you've ever worked with interfaces before, then you'll know a lot of the code is boilerplate. There isn't much opportunity for code reuse here or shortcuts. We're going to set up one large draw UI procedure and make sure the data is sourced correctly. We'll add a tile offset size to everything we've drawn so far. Here's the world, then Dave, monsters, bullets, Let's test it out. Now we have a space at the top for UI elements. Let's create that big function. We'll need a destination rectangle and an iterator for the lives count. Now all the tiles are numbered 133 and higher. I already wrote down many of the coordinates prior to this recording, so let's just knock this out as quickly as we can. It's simply drawing the right tile at the right location. We'll start with the score, level, and lives banner across the top. Let's take a look. It would help if I plug the UI into the renderer. Looks like a start. Let's draw the actual score numbers. The score numbers count off in sequence starting at 148. All we need to do is divide the score by the appropriate placeholder and take the modulus by 10. We're guaranteed to have the proper offset integer from zero. Now the ones digit is always zero since all scores are some multiple of 10 in this game. Let's get those scores adding up. Under pickup item, we'll add the cases for items that add score. So the numbers are there, but they don't make much sense. Let me check the width of that variable. Oh yeah, 8 bits isn't enough. Let's move that up to 32. Now we'll display the level. Remember that the current level variable starts at 0, so we'll need one more than that. We also have to take the modulus of the ones place to prevent accessing beyond the end of our tile array. 9 is the last tile. Score looks good and the level looks right. Now we'll add the life counter at the top. 
Loop through the number of lives, adding the width of the tile to each. Works fine. Now we need to draw the trophy message. Then the gun icon. And finally the jetpack icon. So we don't actually have room to draw the jetpack bar like in the original game. I guess the SDL resolution includes the top menu bar. Rather than shift everything around, let's draw a smaller scaled version to the right below the jetpack icon. We'll just draw a red bar to cover the whole meter. Now you may be tempted to just scale the full width like this, but remember in C, integer division is basically like rounding down. So this will always evaluate to zero. Instead, we need to calculate the marginal value of each unit of fuel, which is 0 0.23, and then multiply by the jetpack count. Let's give that a try. It works. Finally, I want to draw a white frame around the gameplay area. There we go. Our game is starting to look 1980s professional. I think the next video will be the last. We need to add one or two more elements to make the game winnable. We'll probably make a few more tweaks to things like jumping and maybe collisions. See you next time.